home of the Liberty Bell, the cheese steak, and so much more. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania is the site for this matchup between the Bears and the Eagles. This is a game today that could come down to the two running backs, two of the real stars of the sport, two players who went in fantasy drafts really high. How do you see this one going down today? Yeah, and how's your fantasy team? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we won't talk that. about that. Let's talk about good things. But, you know, these, hey, these two teams are stars. You know why? Because we can see how the football team is built. And I think it is no doubt about it. The offensive line is a big part of it. They always have hope that if they block their guy a little bit, these running backs can make a big play out of it. Jackson's in the slot. First and ten. Fix got the football after the play fake. Good job by the cornerback. Meeting the wide receiver. He is all over him. And it makes it easy for him to swat down the throw by the QB. Second down following that incompletion. Throws to the right. Hauls it in for the first down. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. Well, when you talk about throwing these sideline routes or the out route, it is about timing. When that receiver makes that break to go towards the sideline, that football has to be in the air. Nice throw and catch that time. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. They pick up 35. It didn't take long, but they're already in scoring territory inside the red zone. Yeah, they're making it look easy, aren't they, so far? But you've got to be alert on the defensive side right now because this offense loves to go for the touchdown once they get into the red zone. First and goal. And he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. The Eagles for the extra point. Makes the PAT. Alex Henry ready for the kickoff. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Hester's taking the handoff. Has some space to work with. Kind of refreshing to watch, isn't it? To see a team that has faith, the toughness, and the patience to just keep running the football, grinding out these first downs, resting their defense, and tiring out the opponent's defense. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Flying into the air and makes the catch. Well, they complete the pass, Jim, but doesn't get the first down. Sooner or later, you got to throw one down the field. Second down after that pass play. Going to take it the distance. Going to take it home for the touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. McCoy's lined up as the single back. Quarterback drops back, play action. Getting away from the pressure. Incomplete. Second down coming up. McCoy. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. 
Well, these plays do look ugly when they don't work. It's it's second down, and you run the running play, hoping to pick up a few yards to make third down easier. But when you lose yards like this, third long is tough to do. Vick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Unable to complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. Avant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Vick in shotgun formation. Eyeing that left side. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. First down, offense readying for the snap. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. Jim, I can't say that's great defense. That's just a poor throw and a poor route run by the wide receiver. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. They come out in a dime package. Second and ten. Makes the grab. Touchdown. What a tough throw and catch into a tight spot right there for the touchdown. But in today's game, these players are so good that you have to throw it in traffic. They've got to make the catch. That time he did. So they give up the touchdown, but they do not allow the two-point play. Yeah, good job that time by the defense. So quick and so ready for that play. They reacted very fast. That's why they stopped it. Shoots around the defender. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Screen pass. Catch is made, but a flag is in there. He's got a foot race to the end zone. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. You took a few of these shots in your day. That's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This to me, this is a bad call. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Waves his arm and he's gonna make a fair catch. The defensive captain looks over and signals an immediate timeout. First down here. Hester's going to secure the handoff. Running to the right. Got a big lane. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards. It gets him another first down. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. And that last play made by Pat Chung. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards, nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Searching for space to the right. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered and you still couldn't make the play. First down, following the long play. To the ground here, goes to the left. Gain of eight. Someone's been injured out there, hold on a minute. I don't even want to speculate what the injury is, but I think it's safe to say by just watching the player, he's in a lot of pain, and I hope it's not serious. It's up nine. Good job by the offense, getting the first down in the red zone. Now it becomes tricky. Can you deceive the defense where you get a chance to get a score? Get offense lines up here. 
First and goal. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Almost intercepted. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Trying to find an opening to the right. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well and gets in there and makes the tackle for very little gain. Third and goal at the five. Looking, makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Anytime, Jim, it's third and goal, you got to decide what are we going to do. Well, this time the offense, nice design. They throw the football. And the quarterback puts it right on the money for the touchdown pass. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. We talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield, going off tackle here. They deck him in the backfield. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down here, and that will close out the first quarter in Philadelphia. We'll return in just a moment. Selleck's usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. Not much the offense can do in a situation like this. Third and long, what you probably will have to do is either surprise them with a run or throw it short and hope somebody can make a play and pick up a first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Forces a three and out. This defense you're playing against, they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield, punt the football. Coopers, a receiver in the slot. Drop back, shotgun formation. Scans the field. They fail to convert here on fourth down. Fourth and long, you got so little chance of having success in a situation like this. I only have one question. Why did you go for it? They face first down. Forte is going to take the handoff now. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. After running it, it's second down. The pass complete. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Oh, bad decision that time by the quarterback. He tries to force the football into the end zone and it almost gets picked off by the defense. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. Throws to the right. Caught. The ball is out. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good, the defense didn't even see that he still had the football, and he throws it down there for a nice completion. What a catch. Touchdown. Nice job running that fade down the field. Nice throw by the quarterback, and we get a touchdown. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up the two-point conversion. Got the touchdown, got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. A 
able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. It's first down as they head to the line. Screen play is on. Bites off the hit. They tackle him for a loss. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. McCoy's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you're going to drop back, look at a receiver, and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Third and 20. He's looking to the right here on this throw, and that's going to be a three and out. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Vick's going to take it from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. That's a missed opportunity, and now... have to bring out the defense. Timeout called by the defensive unit. 